Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Here is a question from Mathematics 2018, Grade 12, Paper 2, Question 7b. Express 3 over x plus 1 minus 2 over x minus 1 as a single fraction in its lowest terms. This is coming from algebra. So we are told to express this as a single fraction. So all you need to do is to write 3 over x plus 1 minus 2 over x minus 1. Okay. Now, when you are expressing as a single fraction, you need to know and understand that this should be treated the same way you treat fractions, like when I ask you to add or subtract um, fraction of this nature. Okay? If I ask you to find the answer here, it means you are expressing as a single fraction, because you are going to say over common denominator, it will be 14. How many twos and 14? 7 times 1, 7. Minus how many sevens and 14? 2 times 5. It will give us 10. Uh, 7 minus 10 will give us negative 3 divided by 14. This will be the answer. I see that. It is the same way here. So using this concept here, we are going to say, uh, instead of saying common denominator, we can use the fastest method. You can simply say 3 times this. Please follow me very well. 3 times this denominator. So you write 3 x minus 1. That means we have multiplied. Minus 2 times this. So you write 2 x plus 1. Divided by this times this. x plus 1, then x minus 1. I see that. Let me repeat myself. This times this, you write here, minus. This times this, you write here, everything over. This times this, you get that. It is the same here. I can say 1 times 7, 7, minus 2 times 5, 10, all over 2 times 7, 14. Okay, so from here now you just um, concentrate on the numerator here. 3 times x is 3x minus 3 times 1 will give us 3 minus 2 times x will give us 2x. Negative and positive will give us a negative. 2 times 1 will be a 2. Then everything over this denominator, which is x plus 1, then x minus 1. What next? Collection of like terms on top here. We have 3x, we have 2x. So we're going to say 3x minus 2x, like this, negative 3, negative 3 here, another pair, negative 2, over, we have got this, x plus 1, like this, then x minus 1, like this. Here we can subtract. 3 minus 2 will give us a 1, which will be x. Then negative 3, negative 5, I mean negative 3, negative 2 will give us negative 5. Everything over, x plus 1, x minus 1. This is the final answer you have expressed as a single fraction. I hope this was clear. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.